Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi there, and welcome to my lesson on shape tweening. Hopefully you'll have already looked at my lesson on using shape objects, because we're going to be using some of those in this lesson to illustrate shape tweening. So first off, I'm going to go over here and choose my rectangle tool. Uh, I'm going to change my stroke to black and have my fill as orange. And I'm just going to drag out a rectangle there. I think I might change the stroke so that it's a bit thicker. There we go. And uh, if you're not familiar with how to do this, check out my lessons on um, stroke styles and editing fills and strokes. Okay, so we've got a nice square there. If we go to frame, I'm going to go for 75 and insert a keyframe. Then you can see, got a nice new keyframe there. But instead of adding a motion tween as we would if we were using a symbol, uh, which we're not, you can see that this is just a drawing object at the moment. Uh, we're going to add, by right clicking in the space between the two keyframes, we're going to add a shape tween. And we should get an arrow from one keyframe to the other, uh, and it should go green. And if I play that through, nothing will happen because it's just two identical keyframes, a square and a square. So let's go to our second keyframe over here at frame 75 and change this square um, into something else. So if we delete that, go over here to our um, shape tool and choose polystar. And then over here in the settings, you can see we've got options. I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to change it to a star. And I'm going to draw a star in roughly the same place. Might just move that a little bit. There we go. Um, so let's play that through now. And you can see already Flash has interpreted the difference between those two shapes and is kind of morphing them together. But as well as changing the shape, if we decide to change the stroke and fill color on this star, so if I change the stroke to a kind of purple and the fill to sort of green, and then play it through, it will cycle through all those colors and change those as well. So you can start getting some nice, quite trippy animations um, quite quickly. If you want to get some really weird effects, why not try adding some extra shapes to either one of your two keyframes? Like if I add an extra square here, you'll see that when we play it through, Flash does its best to interpret the difference between uh, a star and two squares. But you can make it a bit more interesting than that. If we go to our second keyframe and I copy this star, I might shrink it down a little bit. If I overlay this star um, onto the other star, I'll make it a little bit more difficult for Flash. Maybe add a couple more. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can start to get some really bizarre effects by adding more shapes into your shape tweens. So give it a go yourself. And in my next lesson, I'll go over shape hints, which give you a little bit more control over your shape tweens. I'll see you then. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, The Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.